Okay, we've just been learning about the uh, Transcontinental Railroad, and I kind of showed you how those two railroad lines were being built towards each other. And we talked about the labor involved in these um, rail in the construction of the railroad. And I'm going to play a little clip of um, a sh from a show called Hell on Wheels, and it's actually just a little musical thing. But um, what this scene is showing you is all of the different people involved in the construction of the railroad. You're gonna see people who used to be Civil War soldiers on either side, people who are freed slaves. There are Native Americans attacking this camp. And as they're attacking, you're gonna notice one of them with short hair and he's actually uh, working for the railroad. And this scene is about him making a decision whether he's gonna protect the railroad or fight alongside his people. And you're going to see what he, what he decides, but I want you to notice all of the different types of people. There are immigrants, there are people from all walks of life, but mostly this scene is about Native Americans making their last stand to try to stop this railroad from coming through and destroying all of their territory. Okay. Freezes your already cold mind, already cold, cold mind. And death is at your doorstep, and it will steal your innocence, but it will not steal your substance.
Okay, you can see there at the end, that guy actually worked for the railroad. He was a translator. Um, he was also like a, a missionary guy. So he was a Christian and he kind of had to make a choice. The people attacking that railroad were his uh, clan, his family members. So he made a decision there at the end and he killed them. Um, I, I'm a big TV junkie, big movie junkie, and I like moments that can make us understand a little bit about history. Um, very violent, very sad, uh, but this is what happens in human history and that's why we have to learn about it so we can try to make it better. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this and we will